the first two games? Well, there's definitely uh, some room for improvement. We, uh, we have a young group, uh, but as far as where we're heading, I think we're heading in the right direction. We're working hard on the field, off the field, physically and mentally uh, to, to put our team in the best situation, and we'll continue to do that. What signs of progress do you see when you look at the game film from game one to game two? Uh, just the speed and uh, kind of the conclusiveness of us as on the offensive line. We're kind of more on the same page. Obviously, we, we have some room for improvement there. But from week one to week two, I think we, we kind of melded and kind of saw what a real game is like and got a, a game under some of these young guys, like Chris Murray. Uh, he's had two games in college football, and uh, I think he's heading in the right direction. What are the challenges with that communication along the offensive line when you're facing a front like what Oklahoma was doing, a lot, lots of different things, uh, lots of blitzes from different areas? What are the challenges there? Uh, well, there's as far as the challenges go on that, we uh, it's just different looks, and we just got to work through the process of what our coaches told us, and, and go, we'll go back onto our training and how how coach has trained us to see those looks and just not get caught up in the speed and the and the intensity of the game. And uh, just the challenges on that. Uh, and Oklahoma, it's a hostile environment. I played there. I've been there before, so uh, it's a it's a tough place to play. More credit to him. Uh, defensive coordinator was uh, he, he had the best of us that day. Has the team's like attitude at all been affected by the zero and two start? No, I don't think so. Uh, we knew that after the week one, we were have a tough week two, uh, but we we know we're kind of going in the right direction. And I've talked to it with other leaders on this group, Caleb and and, and uh, Dorian. We were kind of heading in the right direction. We had we saw more success as far as sustaining a drive against Oklahoma than, than we did against Cincinnati. And so that kind of just showed us that we can do it. We just need to sharpen a couple more tools and kind of and kind of get over that hump to, to put in the ball in the end zone. What do you think it's going to take to get over that hump and take it to that next step? It's just going to be uh, hard work and putting the effort in. Uh, we, we, we know what it takes. It's just getting over that hump is uh, it's, it's time. It's time and melding as a group. Like I know on offensive line, uh, a lot of new faces and we're shuffling around. So we uh, we just need to build that chemistry. And once we establish that chemistry and that foundation, I think uh, we're going to be a really good team. How long do you think that kind of thing can take? On that, I can't tell you. Uh, I've seen teams that have melded great right off the start, and I've seen teams that have taken uh, three, four games to do it. So as far as that goes, but uh, as far as on the on the field and doing controlling what we can control, we're going to go in the right direction. How difficult? No. How difficult is it to diagnose a blitz when you have a true freshman center and a true freshman quarterback? As far as diagnosing blitz, it's the same. It's the same whether you have a, a freshman and a true freshman. Uh, it's just you do your assignment. And so just having that trust that your guy's going to be in the right direction, that, that's, that's the kind of chemistry that we're talking about, just trusting that the dude to the right to you and the dude to the left of you are going to do their assignment and, and go as hard as they can. Uh, so as far as picking up the blitzes, we know what we got to do. We know that we, we've had a great training. We had a great camp on how to pick that up. We just need to bring that to the game. How do you think uh, Dorian's approved as a leader? I know it's only the second game in college, but just for that one game, Right, he kind of got through, thrown in game one, so uh, uh, and he, he, I think he responded as a better guy. I expect he, he's a great quarterback as far as using both his, his athletic ability and his arm to make plays. So, and then in week two, he kind of he kind of showed how he could stay in the pocket, even though we did we let some guys loose on him. And uh, but he, he he kept his poise, and that's what I'm really proud of Dorian of going into that hostile environment and being thrown in with these different looks and responding. So I think he's grown, and I think he'll continue to grow in that way. You played with a big-time high draft pick quarterback before, Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. I know Dorian's not quite as big and maybe like the, the gunslinger that Patrick is, but how would you compare them in terms of being potentially NFL prospects going forward and big-time players? Uh, just the pose. Uh, I remember when Pat went in his first game against uh, uh, man, Oklahoma State, his true freshman year, he uh, – he had the same kind of pose, pose Dorian had when he got in. So as far as that foundation of being the quarterback and knowing that you're the guy, I think he's got a great foundation to move forward. And, and he'll continue to sharpen his skills and use his athletic ability to the best of his advantage. 
and uh, we'll, we'll, I think he's going to be really good going in the future. I think Michael was saying that Doran's kind of gone, gone out of his way to kind of get to know the linemen more, get to know the receivers more. How have you seen him doing that lately? Right. Well, me and Dorian, we actually came in at the same time. Uh, we came in together. So, I mean, obviously I was a little bit older, but uh, so I, 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 got, I got to know him. And uh, obviously you hear about him being a high, uh, high recruit. So he, he's kind of gone out of his way to, uh, to build that chemistry and just verbally communicate with us, which even though you might not think it correlates to on the field, it definitely does. I mean, me and my old quarterback, we, uh, we had a great relationship over at Texas Tech. And I think Dorian's going in the right direction. He, he's uh, he's going to continue to do that. You mentioned Caleb and, and yourself. You were both named captains for that last game. How, does, mm -hmm. how do you guys pick out captains every week? Uh, well, so we uh, we have a group of captains, and uh, it was just a sign. So me and, me and Caleb both being Texas guys, we had a lot of family coming to that game, and it was a great honor for me to go out there and, and uh, represent UCLA in that manner and do the coin toss. And then Caleb, same deal. His, his dad had played at OU, and so uh, I know he was uh, real humbled by that experience. What was it like doing? somewhat back home to play? It was nice. I got to see some family. Family came into town and, uh, and uh, you know, out here in California, you don't get to see them as often. Uh, but it's uh, it, was, it was like, it was bittersweet. Uh, they play in an old Big 12. Uh, now I had, I, I can say I've never beaten them, uh, unfortunately, but uh, it's a great place to play and going home and having the family that haven't seen you play before or haven't seen you play in a year and a half come out and see that, that was a great experience.